Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So I am here doing a walkthrough of the Tarot del Toro. Um, this is a tarot deck and guidebook by Insight Editions. And it is inspired by uh, the world of Guillermo del Toro and forward by Guillermo del Toro, and it's written and illustrated by uh, Tomas Hijo. So, here is the... Oh, what a nice little book. So, here is the box. That's the inside. This is a nice, sturdy box. And there is the book. The book has, um, let's see, 87 pages, it looks like. So 88, actually. All right. These cards are so cool. Here's the bottom and I'm not sure if this is, oh, it is. So if you want to remove it, looks like it is removable, but I don't want to remove it. And it's got the ribbon inside. There's the bottom and the rest of it. Really nice box. Great for, you know, putting your uh, decks away in a good place, good storage wise. All right, so let me look and make sure that I'm completely in the screen. All right, let me actually get a little bit closer. All right. Cue the music, maestro. <laughs>
All right, so the size is like a basic size um, tarot deck. The cardstock seems really nice and pliable. It does seem thin, but I don't mind that. I want something I can shuffle. So let's see how well I can shuffle this. Might be a little bit bigger than tarot. Let's see. And then we'll draw a card. I'm not sure if I can do this way. I might be able to. I think I need to work with them a little bit, but let's try it one more time. I seriously have some short fingers, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's just pick one, shall we? I love the backs, by the way. All right, so let's see what it says for the Ten of Discs. Or I think that's the Discs. All right. Oh. Okay. It just says numerical cards. Sterile closure of a process. Of the process. Oh. Okay. So this is where it tells you. It doesn't actually go into detail, so you're more or less, especially with it being a Pips card, you're using more the, um, oh, and then it goes into, okay, well, that's weird. All right. It just gives you examples, that's it, of what they mean. <clears throat> so, ten of discs, you know, that would be like uh, a completion, you know, the end of a cycle, getting what you want, so to speak, um, as far as, uh, you know, wealth and family and maybe a new skill that you've learned or a new job or something like that, Um but, I, I mean, I really don't do these for the readings themselves. I just want you to see how they read. So, let's maybe see if we can pick, like, a major arcana scene so they don't really do. Yeah. Well, they do, I think, the court cards to see how they read. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What's that? King of Wands. Which is really cool, by the way. I, I love the artwork in this deck. So it's kind of good, you know, to learn a little bit of um, numerology. Let's see. King of Wands. Fire matched with fire. Exalted action. Great power. Unleashed activity. Unlimited possibilities of creation. If it appears inverted, it indicates excessive strength, perhaps abuse and tyranny. His incarnation in uh, Tarot del Toro is the king of the underworld from Pan's Labyrinth. So this is the king of the underworld from Pan's Labyrinth, which, um, yes, this um, Guillermo del Toro did um, like the shape of water and Pan's Labyrinth, and I can't remember what else. But, I, honestly, I love the backs, I love the cardstock, and I love the um, artwork. I think the artwork is super cool. It's so different. Um, great for, for images, and a great deck to kind, to, kind of um, start honing in on your, because uh, this is probably t more like Tarot de Marseille. Um, more on your pips, learning your numerology 
and what each one stands for. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this brief uh, walkthrough, and I am sending you love and light. Thank you so much.